How do you catch more flies? I mean customers with honey or with vinegar. I love this expression, catch more flies with honey than with vinegar. And I love it for a lot of reasons. Number one, I just used it on my four year old granddaughter. I was teaching her the day before yesterday about catching flies with honey and behavior and being sweet and agreeable versus being loud and crying and screaming and difficult. Now, my daughter also had a, not a, a, a big bout with it, but a, a period of tantrums. She had tantrums when she was little. She's a, a beautiful little fiery redhead and she has that beautiful traditional redheaded personality where she would have tantrums. Well, I found out that little blonde curly haired girls <laughs> may like to have tantrums sometimes. Not tantrums so much as just be disagreeable and resist change, resist things that grown ups might want her to do. And so I was teaching her this expression, you can catch more flies with vinegar, with honey than with vinegar. Can't even say it right. And so I laughed when I saw this one today. I'm, yep, that's the one I'm doing today. Now, did you know that this expression has been around since the early 1600s, in some way, shape, or form, it was used in Europe as far back as the 1600s. And if I've learned anything this year doing these idioms, it's that expressions, whether they personally affect me or not, whether I teach them to my kids or my grandchildren or not, they are probably affecting people around me and people that I come in regular contact with, even if I personally am not affected by them. So it's important to know what they are, what they, where they came from, what they mean, and how I can use them to grow and build my business, which is the goal that I've got with this segment or anything else that I want in my life. How are they impacting me in my life in other ways? And this saying is no, is no exception. Uh, catching more flies with honey than with vinegar, it's, it's, it's common sense only in that so many of us have had the experience where we've been at a picnic or we've been at an event or we've just baked a, a caramel apple pie and it's cooling in the kitchen and all of a sudden, even though you didn't think there were any flies around, boom, flies are beelining to your pie or your sweet or your cake or whatever happens to be at your picnic or in your kitchen that is sweet. They're not going after the dish soap. They're not going after the vinegar. They're not going after anything bitter and disagreeable. They're going after something that they're attracted to, the sweets. Now, this gets a little tricky when it comes to attracting customers to our business because like fishing, I'm going to use a fishing analogy because I actually, I, I don't I haven't fished much lately, but I used to fish a lot with my ex-husband and we would fish for walleye. And anyone who's fished for walleye know that walleyes like to bite on and like to um, or will bite on different types of bait. Sometimes it's minnows, sometimes it's leeches, sometimes it's night crawlers, sometimes it's big gross worms, sometimes it's um, lures, different types of lures. It's not that the fish are fickle, it's just sometimes they're hungry for some things, other times they're hungry for other things. Now I would imagine that minnows and leeches and crawlers taste sweet to walleye but i don't know because i've never talked to a walleye so <laughs> the point about the bait is that sometimes we need to use different bait to attract people to us um, but it has to be sweet and appealing to the fish it has to be sweet and appealing to our customers if it's not what they want they're not going to bite on it they're not going to take advantage of it if we're not giving people what they want they're not going to be attracted to us in our businesses um, and here's the other biggest lesson i learned that reminds me of fishing. When the mayflies are hatching, the fish aren't biting. If the fish aren't hungry, if the if the place you're fishing doesn't have any hungry fish, the only thing to do is to move the boat and fish somewhere else. Um, go after different crowd of different people. The thing about our businesses and catching more flies or anything, more fish or more customers with honey is they have to be hungry in the first place to be attracted to what it is that you want. And generally that means they have to have some problem or something that we can solve for them. Um, that's where it's a little different than honey because is a problem honey? Well, the solution to that problem is honey to them, right? So I guess it does still apply. And if you're selling it to them in an agreeable, kind, sweet way, they're gonna be in presenting the offer to them or what you can do for them in a sweet way that's attractive to them, they're gonna be attracted to you. Versus if you're, hey, here's my stuff, buy it. Because you got this problem and you need it solved. I mean, and it's all about you. People don't care about you and your company and your business. They really, really don't. All they care about is them, their lives, and solving their problems and making their lives better, right? So 
when we're sharing information about our business and our services and what we do, we need to make it all about them, all about other people like them that have had success, all about how they can get the solution quickly, easily, fast, you know, more efficiently, more effectively, then they can do it on their own. That's why they do business with us. That's the honey that we're offering them is the sweet solution to their problem so that they don't have to figure it out themselves. So I love this expression. I would love to know what and how you feel about this expression. Um, I've had so much experience with it. I think that's one of the reasons I, I love it. I was in the food industry for 35 years. And one of the tricks that we would use that is a great example of this catching more flies with honey <clears throat> is um, in any food industry, there tends to be fruit flies. Flies are attracted to food, right? <laughs> um, and one of the things that I learned early on is, and I think I probably... I probably looked it up on the internet. I probably waited till the internet and looked this up or I heard it and never tried it. But what we would do is at night in the summer when fruit flies or, or drain flies or forward flies could come to the plant or we'd see one, we would put out this mixture. We'd put out in a bowl, we'd take a bowl and we would put water, Dawn detergent in it, and then a little bit of vinegar. And for some reason, they would flies, the fruit flies, the forward flies would be attracted to the dawn, the sweetness in the dawn, and then they would get stuck in this vinegar and um, dawn mixture, and then we would trap them and we would get rid of them. So we wouldn't ever have a fruit fly problem because the fruit flies were attracted to dawn. We want to do the same thing in our business. We want to find the bait that is attractive to our particular customers, the people that we're here to serve. That's it. Have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, I will see you tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where did it come from? And even if it's not impacting you, remember, it might be impacting people that you come in contact with and you want to do business with. So that's why it's important to know these things. Have an awesome day. Catch you tomorrow. Bye. Catch you tomorrow like the fish. <laughs>